morning. Good morning. It is Saturday and you know what that means? Coffee! <sighs> Coffee is so great. It also means that it's time for my video. So Scott, in your video you were talking about how in sociology you were learning a lot about how the way we were raised affects our views and what we think of the practices of other cultures. And that's actually um, one of the things that we've been learning about in humanities. One of our lectures talked a lot about how the texts that we read will seem very strange to us. Not only because they're like thousands of years old and translated from cuneiform, which like looks like that, but also because a lot of the practices of things back then are things that we wouldn't think to do now. They ask us to kind of just uh, think about that while we're reading and see how being aware of that affects um, our, our experience. And something that happened in Knoxville this week, even though I'm not there, I just know a lot about it, the dress code changed at Knoxville High School, and that is no one is allowed to show their shoulders anymore. My immediate reaction was because dress codes across the United States have been a point of contention recently. Most of the time, dress codes are used exclusively against females or female identifying individuals as they're told that they could distract their peers. And my response to this is A, sexism. B, boys can learn to control themselves. And C, no one should be responsible for someone else's actions. So obviously I have a problem with this. My feminist is showing. I did some research on this topic. I'll post a link in the description. An article on the Christian Science Monitor is kind of um, ironic. It was actually a very interesting article because it seemed very like non-partisan. It says, in an ideal world, all people could dress any way they want to, but in this world, dressing in a provocative way sends out a message that puts girls at risk. She is quick to add that, that while a girl's choice of attire does not grant anyone permission to assault her, it does have an impact on the way others perceive her. I do think that this is an interesting kind of quote here because yes, at this point, wearing something um, that is not deemed socially acceptable does affect someone's views on you, but how are we going to change those views unless we challenge them? Maybe high schools aren't the place to do that, but you have to start somewhere, and I think that middle and high school are very formative years, and people should be allowed to express themselves how they feel they need to, and, and not according to the way that someone else will perceive them, if that makes any sense. I also looked at um, on Livestrong, actually. It deals with, like, the environment of having a, a stricter school dress code or uniform. Like, it also does state that there is no empirical evidence that shows that dress code affects how people learn. Anyway, why do I see things like this and why do other people see things another way? And I was actually talking with Dad on the phone the other day about how this, this dress code has changed in Knoxville. And he actually said that when he was in middle and high school, he found the girls very distracting regardless of what they wore. And he just learned to you know, deal with it. Personally, I think that that's how it should work. The way I see it is it's it's sexualizing things that don't need to be sexualized. I mean, if you see shoulders every day, and as someone who's very attracted to shoulders, I don't care if someone's wearing a tank top. I'm still gonna get my schoolwork done. So I don't see how that should be an issue, but I guess that's me. Those are my values. I don't know how other people see it. It just gives me a lot to think about. And I hope that you guys get to think about it as well. Moving on. I'm going to get on to the rest of my Saturday. I have a lot of work to do, including drafting an essay, reading a physics textbook, maybe working out, which will be hard because I am so sore. When they say advanced weight training, they mean advanced. I think I died. So to sum up, when you think something, think about why you think it. When you've thought about why you think something, think about why other people have thought something. Just think about everything. So those are just a few things for you to think about on your Saturday. And your Sunday, I guess. And I look forward to seeing your videos. Oh, crap, I need an m, &M. I'm back.